Hey everyone, welcome again to Figure Fantasy. We have to do a review of Ryuka now that we have confirmed that she's dropping. She is a support and she is with Night 9. So is she worth your fully wish? We will have to discuss that right now. Okay, guys, so we are here with the evaluation and performance of Ryuka. So this site is the Japanese uh, versions uh, site for their um, evaluation for the figures. I will put a link in the description for the site as well so that you could have, um, you can, you, you could check it anytime. But we're here to evaluate um, Ryuka and what are my thoughts of her if do we need to pull her for me i'm gonna compare her with zuki liang she is kind of in that you know in that uh space with zuki liang in terms of support um in some stages you will need her especially now that uh, this is going to be a unique skill that she's going to give us so uh, without further ado let's go uh, move on to her skill so Performance-wise, overall, so overall delay due to disarmament. So she has a delay. Uh, this is going to be, I think, for three seconds. Resurrection of allies once every thirty seconds, which is actually good, especially if you're in a long match that you need to resurrect a few. Um, energy and speed attack speed up for the first fifteen seconds, and granted again for resurrection. Okay, so let's move on to the details of her skill. Okay, attack scale, rage is 6. Definitely, she's going to be slow because you're not going to be bring her for her attack speed. Priority given to the front enemy in the same horizontal row as you. Each time you attack, the ally with the lowest HP ratio is given a shield for 10 seconds. That is good. So, she gives shield. Increases normal attack damage by 25%. Uh, for her the technique or her ultimate, uh, initial energy is 50 Energy recovery, uh, speed, 6 per second, the usual effect, damages on all enemies and disarms them for 3 seconds. So, f I think this is similar to cannot attack, I think. When an L ally dies, randomly revives an ally, activates up to once every 60 seconds. So, for Zuki Liang, if you could remember, what he does was save... Uh, from lethal damage once this one is revives an ally okay and resurrects an ally gains shield for 10 seconds so similar again similar skill set to zuki liang if you didn't have an opportunity to get him i suggest you get uh ryuka this time so for the level up effect for the for the ultimate so again, there is a gain of a shield for 10 seconds. When when you revive an ally, you also gain a shield and support effect. So um, she, I think she's slightly better than, than Zuki Liang. At this point, um, she's a very good utility for some stages, especially for stages that require most bosses actually in the middle, middle part of the game would really benefit from Zuki Liang. So she will also do that same for you. So passive skill before the the start of the battle, energy recovery speed for yourself and allies adjacent to you is increased by two, which is nice. Uh, she, she's an over overall utility guy. So and attack speed is increased by 30%. Lasts for 15 seconds. Effect is affected by increased support. The resurrected ally will be given the same effect once again. So, at this point, I'm saying that she's a must pull. Um, she is is really a good support that you'll be needing eventually in some content, wherein you'll be needing buffs, energy, increase attack, shields, resurrect, you name it. Um, again, and I get shields, lots of shields for her. So, again, I think she's at this point seeing her passive skill. I think she is a must summon. Increase the defense of adjacent allies by 16%. Support all allies, extend, extend support 
effect to 20 seconds. Exclusive skill heals random allies for every 3 seconds. So this is just a additional support. Level up effect increase own attack by 5 and defense by 10%. The effect of increasing the amount of recovery is 50% is actively activated periodically. Okay, so um, here is gear attached, hay set, and tech set. I, I don't know what it is. We'll just go over this once I have her um, in a video tomorrow in terms of her build. But as of now, if I look at her skill in one single look up to her passive, I suggest that you pull for her. I think she's a must pull, especially if you didn't get Zuki Liang or if you don't have Zuki Liang. I think now is the best time to get her. And um, she's a good support. Um, she might not... I don't see her as S tier at this point. Not yet. Probably S... Uh, no, no, not as S tier. Probably S tier. But she will definitely be a big factor especially again if you don't have any good supports on your team she is going to make a difference especially if you're beginning and especially if you're in the mid game right now she can do a lot for your team so guys if you're beginners if you're mid mid level players mid game players already definitely i think it's a must for you for advanced players they have a a luxury whether they could pull for her or where if they're going to pull for her or not so again but for me overall i think she's a must pull she's a must pull over lafayette lafayette not really um i don't think that lafayette can compete with their interest support i think toka is best to pull for if you have the means to Okay, guys, so thank you very much for staying this far. So hopefully this um, review helped you out if you want to summon for Yoka. So thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.